This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. I'm out on a job today doing a drainage assessment and I was here looking at this a couple days ago and the homeowners were nice enough to let me come back out here and make a video for you all. And so what we have going on here is they just purchased this property a few weeks ago and the first big rain, their crawl space is just like a pond under, under there. And so I wanna take this opportunity to talk about drainage concerns when you're buying a property so we're going to look at a bunch of different things that this property's got going on that are contributing to the flooding in the crawl space so the first thing we see is we see the gutters look pretty good you have a downspout here and here i always like to see downspouts on both ends but if you take a look right here this thing is draining and there's nowhere for the water to get out of here so Take a look at what we going on what we've got going on here we've got about a third of a bubble going toward the house the other thing that is is a red flag in my opinion are these landscaped beds so one of the things that people do when they get ready to sell a house is they cover everything in pine bark or pine straw or other organic matter and so if you go down in here it's a ton of organic matter right up against the house. If you look at this vent well right here, you can see that the grade is pretty high already. There's another clue that the grade's really, really high. And so we have the slope going into the house here, especially with this downspout dumping right here. This water, hopefully you can see, water coming out of this downspout has no way to get out of this area. And so I'm going to recommend piping this across here and around the corner and catching the other one as well. Take a look right here. We have concrete that's sloping into the house. You've got a full bubble of fall into the house right there. And so that's another big concern. And then hopefully you could see from the drone footage here, this area of the yard, the street is a little bit higher. This hump is higher and it's all flowing into the house. You can also see these landscaped beds. They're just full of pine bark nuggets. And again, there's your clue that the grade's already really high. And so that could be a big problem. Taking a look at the gutters on this side, we have this whole stretch of roof here. We have a hard 90, a hard 90, and then one downspout. So I would definitely recommend adding a downspout right here, piping this across here same thing is going on with this this thing right here once you get over here you have basically fall into the house and so this the height of this organic matter doesn't really count for drainage concerns because water goes through organic matter and so I would definitely be piping these downspouts adding a downspout there now take a look at what's going on here so the neighbor's house, the neighbor's property is higher and that water is flowing down this driveway. We have a ton of organic matter in here. And if you look at where the green gunk is growing, you can see right here that the water is flowing right into this, this uh, corner here. And when I was over here the other day, you can kind of still see it. This is this was like wet over here, and you can see all this fine fine sediment. If we put our level on here, we're pretty much flat right there. Put our level here. We're barely breaking in the correct direction, but what's happening is the water is going in and holding up against the foundation here. This is of course evidenced by all this fine sediment that's landing here. And then when I was here the other day, this was, this was wet. Everything else is dry, but this was wet here. And so you can, you can kind of see here that the driveway is sloping into the foundation. And so what I'm going to recommend here is replacing this driveway. So right now the driveway is doing this and all the water from up here is flowing across the driveway, smacking into the foundation and flowing here. I'm going to say, take the driveway from this to this. I also 
want to take our concrete all the way to the foundation here so get rid of this little bed here that's going to armor this and keep it waterproof now looking at this concrete you can see that it's due for replacement anyway and so when i first started talking to these homeowners about this they were like yeah let's get rid of this driveway anyway and then if we can solve our drainage issues at the same time even better this issue here i'm going to have my heating there guy give him a quote for moving this around the corner so you've got a bollard right here you've got your condenser right here taking up a bunch of space oh the other thing when we do our driveway we can get our, all of all of our pipes underneath the concrete you've got a b elbow here and they're so desperate to get this water out of here that they've got this thing going across here and of course you have to step over it now anytime you see stuff like this there's already evidence of some kind of drainage issue or water issue going on and so this may be a solution or this may be an indication of a problem that they tried to hack a solution on so that's always something to look for okay let's take a look back here so look at this beautiful patio they've got and the homeowners just had this catch basin installed the concrete pretty much like sloped into this area and it would just pool up and so that's a good thing to do right there but take a look at what we have going on here and so we have all this roof all this roof and then our downspout so let's follow the path of a drop of rain so a drop of rain lands way up here on the top of the roof it has to flow down has to get in the gutter it has to flow across here it has to take a hard 90 it has to flow across here keep flowing keep flowing keep flowing and then it hits a downspout and all the while that drop of, of rain is flowing it's gathering or it's 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 grouping up with every other drop of rain on this whole roof and so there, there's not enough downspouts there and i'm going to show you a couple pictures of some some gutter jobs too that illustrate this point but the way gutters work the way they drain is via downspouts so a lot of people think they need bigger gutters they don't need bigger gutters they need more downspouts and so i would add a downspout right here and get this gutter flowing that way and so you basically split that so have to figure out something to do there but that's definitely a concern you may have water overflowing these downspouts or these gutters Okay, you've got a lot of pine straw here and the crawl space just was a pond under there here this is not a problem you're flowing away and so what I would do is I would get our downspouts in the front there those two on this side I would get them piped across here and again you want to take your water to somewhere where it's not a problem anymore so out past the shed right there And it looks like they're doing some planting over here. There's a pretty good shot of the lay of the land. You can see it's not good. And so I wanted to use this video to show you all a few concerns when you're buying a house because I see this all the time with homeowners who call me and say, I just bought the house and it's flooding. Here I want to use the drone footage to just recap everything I've talked about. So here you can see these two gutters have, this gutter has two downspouts, but take a look at that corrugated pipe. See how it's going uphill and then downhill. And that is a really good indication that that right up against the house is really low. And so this whole front yard is higher than the front of the house. You can really see where this concrete driveway or uh, sidewalk is flowing into the house as well. And then here you can see just how high, and it's not terrible, but it is higher. The, the yard and the street are higher than the house. Also take a look here at these pine bark nuggets that they have just piled in here. And so that could be a really good indication that there might be a problem here that's being covered up by landscaping. Here you can see the neighbor's property is quite a bit higher and then you can see just how much higher this driveway is. And so all the water that hits the driveway is just running right down into the house. 
That neighboring property also has a lot of water coming across it and hitting this driveway. Once the water hits the driveway, you can really see it here, how the, the driveway is sloping into the house. And so by replacing the driveway here, not only are they getting a new driveway and replacing the cracked driveway, but we're going to slope it correctly and the driveway will be a major part of this drainage solution here. And so that's a big deal anytime you can get a twofer out of it. You get a new driveway and you get a solution out of it. You can see with this downspout, they have already had a bunch of water in this area and they've tried to kick it across. Now take a look at the backyard. I didn't mention you have plenty of fall in the backyard. So that's a really big plus on this property. You have plenty of fall and plenty of places. You got a natural area back there, plenty of place to take your excess water to. So that's another big consideration on a property is do you have a place that's downhill of the problem area that you can send that water down to. And so this property does have that, which is a gigantic deal. Okay. When we're looking at the gutters back here, you can see just how much roof you have there. And then they have that, all that roof area is serviced by one downspout. And so luckily they have a patio here. So even if they do have water coming across and skipping over the gutters, it may not be causing that much problem. Take a look here, you have gutter guard, and this is the good style of gutter guard. So that's another plus for this property. It's got gutter guard already on it. Now they're not doing the maintenance to it. They've got a few leaves there, but it's not terrible. And so adding a downspout here could be could really, really add a lot of function to these gutters in this particular area. And I see all the time gutters installed like this with, with not enough downspouts. So I'm all the time adding downspouts. Now take a look at that crawl space door. I did not take you into the crawl space. Why is that? It's because I don't, you don't need to see the water in there. The crawl space is usually the lowest point so that you have the most clearance. And that's where the, and what else is the lowest point where the water ends up. So you don't necessarily need to see where the water is. You need to focus more on where the water's coming from. And so hopefully I have helped you out with that in this video, in this particular house. So let me know what you all think of this type of video and I'll try to do some more like it and make sure you get a drainage inspection or a drainage assessment before you buy a property. This job started out with a phone call and the homeowner said that they had just bought the house and within two weeks it had rained and they had a bunch of water in the crawl space. And they explained that the home inspection, I guess, had been done when it was dry and the home inspector didn't really say anything about some of these issues that, that are going on with the property. And so I, I went out there, I looked at everything. The homeowner pretty much thought they wanted a French drain across the front. And in this situation, you would never put a French drain across the front because the crawl space is at a lower height or lower elevation than the French drain would be. So you want to keep that surface water on the surface instead of sending it underground. And incidentally, this was a, a green flag for me with the customer because the customer thought he knew what he wanted. And I come out there and I'm saying something totally different. And this customer pretty much listened to me. I was trying to explain everything and, and make everything make sense to everybody. And the homeowners were completely sold. And so I get a lot of homo. I mean, I get a lot of homeowners who call me out and they think they know what they need and they just talk over me and everything else. And so that's just a, a good example of a green flag for me in terms of a customer. So that's a customer I want to work with because they are easy to communicate with and open to what I have to say. So let me know if you'd like to see more of this type of content. I see this kind of thing all the time and it may just be a 10 minute consultation or a, a quote that I go and look at and it just doesn't end up on the channel. And so luckily these homeowners gave me permission to go back out there and make this video. And let me know also if this channel has helped you. And if you're like some of my other customers and you uh, kind of have like a sixth sense thing going on where you see drainage problems, they're everywhere. <laughs> and lastly, if you have found any value out of this channel, which I, I know a lot of you have, why don't you help me out by so supporting the channel? You can become a member. You can click on that down below. You can give me a super thanks. You can subscribe. You can like all that good stuff. And so all that goes into the, the wheels behind the scene that make more content available for you all. So I hope you all have enjoyed this assessment video and make sure you get a drainage inspection 
before your next home purchase. All right, thanks. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next one.